In this video we're going to talk about tasks, uh, not the ones that we have in Jira, but the built-in tasks that you have only in Confluence, and how we can use them for simple tasks for people that don't actually use Jira. So let's jump right into uh, Confluence and see what that one looks like. So as always, when we start, we create a new page. So let's call this one tasks. And we have two macros that is commonly used for tasks. The first one is for tasks themselves, or they are actually called action items. And the second one is that you can form different lists of tasks on a page. So let's start first with an action item. And then action item, uh, when you create that one, it will be a checkbox and then you can use different um, uh, different data types or different ways to actually assign it to someone. So you see in the instruction first, we can have the at sign using the mention functionality to actually connect it to someone. So let's connect it then to me. And then we want to say, what is it that we actually want me to do? So in this case, it's make more videos. And then uh, what is common also is that we set a date for when do we want this one to be done so we can add the date and then we can set this one so by next weekend for example we want to have more videos and we can add another one here and let's say make even more videos and we want to have those another date so we want to have that by the 28th for example so now if we publish this one we will have two items on the page two action items and I can click these ones to show that they are completed and if we place these on a lot of places uh, on, a, on a different pages for example on meeting notes and things like that they tend to get lost so in Atlassian, they have added a specific section for each user where they can see all the tasks that they have created or that they are responsible or mentioned in. And you find that one up in the right corner here on your uh, profile picture. So if you click on that one and you go to tasks, then it will take you to a part where you actually have uh, a complete overview of all the tasks. And you can see that it's, it's by standard assigned to me and those that are incomplete. So from this one, you can also have uh, everything that you have created. If you want to follow up on things that you have uh, set up in your different meetings, then you can use the created by me. And you can also filter on complete and incomplete. So you can check the boxes here and they will actually, uh, no, you can't. There we go. There we go. There was a little bit of a delay on that one. So you can see now, assigned to me, that is complete. Now I have one and incomplete, I have one. And if I go back now to the space, to the page where I actually was, and we go to our tasks page, you will see that this one is now checked in. And I can uncheck and check, and they will be uh, represented on your task section as well. Uh, but it was a little bit delay for me right now. Now this is all good and well, but what if I want to have a list of items for many people and I want to see that we have done what we're supposed to do. So what we can do then is we can add a second uh, macro to the page. That is called the task report. So if you add that one, you will be able to fetch from multiple spaces and pages. And in this case, we just want to have from one. And I can select different labels, so if I have, uh, for example, a section that is only for a certain group uh, that have some, some form of labeling system, then I can select, I only want to see the task, for example, for the marketing or for the design team, uh, or perhaps I want to have only the ones related to a specific project. I can choose to see the ones that are assigned only to the testers, for example, or I can, and then I can just type in a name 
and they will come up and then I can sort by that. I can also select only the ones that I have created for example, that is very common, and you can have them show up only after a certain date. So I just want the one that we created this year for example, or in this quarter. And I can select if I want to see the complete or incomplete, and most of the time we want to see the incomplete. But you might want to be able to also see the completed ones. You can also select the number of tasks you want to show per page, and like with other things, you can define the columns that you want to define uh, that you want to see. And you can also sort by assignee, uh, due date, and page title. And the, the predefined one is due date, of course. Oops, sorry. And you can also reverse sort that one, so we can change the order then for the due date. So if we publish this one, it will actually show up the same type of report. We can sort this one here. And we can, of course, also sort on the other ones if we want, but the default one will be the one that we set. And if I click on this one and reload the page, it will show up here as well. And you will see then that it does not show up here anymore. So if I unclick that one and reload, then it will, oh, it should reappear. Oh, sorry, like that. I think it's a little bit buggy here today. There we go. It was a little bit of a delay. So there you have it for tasks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will uh, publish more of these small videos for specific macros and smaller functionalities for GR Confluence and yes, service management. So until then, have a great day.